Hey guys, welcome back to the GN10. This is Patricia, and let's talk about what just happened on the first night of women's competition at the USA Gymnastics Olympic Trials. Really, what did happen? I'm still trying to process it myself as somebody who had to live blog that and process that and I am still in awe in not a good way. So if you didn't get to watch competition tonight and you have decided that you want spoilers for me, um, Shiley's Jones status for Paris is very much in question after being considered the second somewhat lock. I mean, with the shoulder injury, it was kind of like more like, okay, likely not lock, but Still likely, even though she wasn't, you know, looking 100% in training this week. Well, she went down on a double twisting your chinko during warm ups tonight before the competition even started, the last rotation of warm ups. And um, you could just hear that the, you couldn't hear like anything bad as far as her body goes, but you could just hear the landing was awkward where she hit the mat. And she like fall, fell back and started reaching at her knee area and like rolled over and then slid herself to the podium. And then Sarah, her coach and a member of the medical staff um, put her arms around them and they like carried her off the field to play with no weight on her leg, her ankle, knee, whatever. Well, we're all thinking, okay, she's done. She's out. Like, please, no, we hope not. But, you know, that's the, the reality. I mean, we've already seen Sky Blakely go down two days ago. So then Shilise is introed and she comes running out like things are normal. Um, and she was set to go. Um, she did salute on the vault podium and kind of ran back down the vault podium first rotation. But it, I, she walked off the podium. It seemed like she was like, I'm not doing this. She put on her warm ups. She was going to be in the second half of the rotation anyways, and then she scratched fault. She ended up going on bars, and on bars, she was stellar. She did one of her best routines, especially one of her best routines, slash one of the full, only full routines that I have seen this week in Minneapolis. Um, bars hasn't looked her best in the trainings that we were able to attend, um, and even warm-ups and stuff, so she looked stellar on bars. She did her double front, not the double front half, um, and took out the layout Jaeger, but otherwise exceptional, put up a 14, 6, 7, 5, and scratched the rest of the events. So her status is still in question. It seems like she's okay. Maybe she just stung something and was a little bit shaken up and just opted to do the event that she needed to do and then take the rest of today and reevaluate things. Um and then the first vault, first routine of the meet happened. Um, not and then, this happened before Shiley's went on bars, but that was Kayla DiCello. And uh, if things couldn't get any worse, they did. And that is Kayla balked on her vault. It seems like it was really maybe the springboard where the injury happened, but who's to say the the fact of the matter is that she balked on her vault sat down and was immediately like no and was reaching at what seemed to be her right ankle and she was carried off the podium and then taken out of the arena in a wheelchair crying just so emotional and there's no updates on her status. She scratched from the rest of the meet tonight. She, USA Gymnastics said that she was being medically evaluated. So, you know, status is still up in the air, as is Shailise's status. Um, but it seems the prognosis does not seem as good for Kayla versus Shy. And then... Right after Kayla, Suni was set to go on vault, and Suni and Kayla are very close. And, of course, even if you're not close, seeing one of your teammates and competitors go down is, is never good. Um, but Suni just watched one of her very close friends, best friends, roommate here fall and get hurt on vault. 
Um, and Simone and not Simone, Jordan and Shy were talking to Suni before she went on vault, probably being like, hey, you got this. You're good. You can do this because it's just mentally jarring. And Suni went on vault. She did her double twisting your chinko, but gosh, the block, her hand slipped. And for a split second, that entire arena gasped. And we were all like, please, no, not another, please. Thankfully, somehow, Suni recovered, got it around. It wasn't her best double twisting your chinko. She was doing beautiful ones in warm ups, and she's done some good ones this week in training. But she did it, and she went on to do a great job across the board. She hit bars, she hit beams, she hit floor. Were there some mistakes? Were there some things to clean up? Yes. That's that. So, as of now, of course, Sky Blakely is out due to right Achilles tear. Shiley's Jones status is up in the air. Depending, of course, she already has the small torn labrum that seems to have stopped flaring up. And, and Sarah Korngold, her coach, said that was not causing her plate pain this week. But now we have another concern about a left um, knee, calf area potential injury so we'll see what happens there and then we have um Kayla DiCello whose status is also unknown so stay tuned for those status updates I'm sure that we will hear of course something before Sunday um as far as the rest of the meet goes it wasn't a perfect meet for many, but it was a great meet for a few. Um, really, at the end of the day, it, the the top four are the four Olympians in the field. That's Simone, Jordan, Suni, and Jade. They all really had great days. Of course, like I said, there's room for improvement. Simone had an error on her mount um, and then made a couple small mistakes on floor. Suni didn't connect everything on bars. Um, obviously had that kind of under-rotated low chest on vault. Um, Jade was outstanding today. She really crushed it. Her Aminar upgrade on vault um, was good. It, I've seen her actually do better this week on her Aminar. So now that she's gotten that first one in competition out of the way, thinking that Sunday could be even better for sure, but she crushed it across the board as good as she could do, um, even on, you know, bars, which is her worst event, and then beam. Um, she did good, and then Jordan Childs just crushed it. She was second behind Simone today, um, put up a 14-1 on floor. Carrie put up a 14.075. Um, Jordan delivered on bars. She delivered. She delivered everywhere. Um, so and somehow she saved her front pike mount on beam, where because her foot slipped and it looked like she was going to slip off the beam or split it or something. And she recovered very quickly and did it. And I, I tweeted something which was, um, you know, amidst everything going on, Jordan today if if the results were not enough showed exactly why she should be in Paris which is when the going gets tough when the pressure is on when things are hitting the fan beyond what anybody could imagine Jordan continues to deliver she rises to the occasion she is an Olympian she has the heart of an Olympian and of course she has now the scores to back it up at this point it looks like it's going to be Simone, Jordan, Jade, and Suni. That makes a logical team. Those four could really go by themselves. If it was Tokyo all over again, the four-person team, they would be fine. The fifth person is going to be, once again, the hardest um, thing to figure out. If you're assuming that DiCello is out, if you're, then you have to... And DiCello was a, a reasonable consideration for this team. That was a lot of people were talking about DiCello versus Childs for the fifth spot. Um, and I put in a story earlier this week that they, they were going to have a battle between bars to see who was the best, and that would be the decision maker. But now it is really 
is Shailise good? If Shailise is good, are you okay with potentially only taking her for, say, bars? Maybe so. And if not, then you need to look at the best all-arounder potentially with um, a stronger beam. And then Leanne Wong debuted her Chung today on Vault. That actually went 14-4-5 after previously getting a 12-4-5 because the judges initially deducted for her blocking with only one hand, which is a two-point neutral deduction. But they gave it back to her um, after review, and that was great for her. She also went 13-9-2-5 on bars. But beam and floor, she had some errors. She lost some tenths there. She had, like, a three-tenths neutral deduction on floor. Otherwise, she would have had, I think, like, a 13-4-5. And then beam, she had an error. And then, of course, floor, she can also add a double or even upgrade. So Leanne needs to bring it on Sunday. But if Leanne brings it on Sunday and hits all four to what she's capable, then maybe that makes this committee selection easier. She's been on all three world teams this quad. She can fill in on each event. Um, she's got the NCAA experience with – and the consistency that comes with that, um, where she will fight to the end of, to the end. Um, but then Jocelyn Robertson was fifth today. Um, she looked the best she's looked since coming back from her injury at Worlds last fall. Her Chung looked solid. Her double twisting Yuchinko, not so much, but you know, that can be, that's, that's not really, usually it's the Chung that's the concern. So if it's the DTY, then we can work with that. She did one of the best beam sets that I've seen her do um, with 13.925. Floor was great, 13.925 as well. Her bars are her weakest event. Um, she hit it, though, so, you know, A+. plus. That's good. When Joss hits bars, it's a good day. So she was fifth. Um, Kali Lincoln was sixth. She put up a 14.150 on floor to finish second behind Simone. On that event, her best event, the, the reason she would be taken to Paris, um, is that enough? I don't know. She she just really had a stellar day across the board, but she needs to be able to replicate that. So I would need for me, if I was on the selection committee to see pick Kalia, I would need her to duplicate this performance on Sunday, um, and then it would it would still be a discussion. Hesley Rivera was somebody who people thought maybe coming in, maybe that fifth person maybe and, and even now more than ever could be that fifth person but she missed out on crucial tenths on bars and beam her best events um and she really needed to go beam as specifically if she could hit all four and really shine on beam be one of the best beam scores then that's a huge discussion um, point because she could fill in on maybe the other fours not the other fours weakness but the weakness of the overall team that being said, she was she was not one of the she wasn't even like think the top three on beam today. Um, she had an error on her dismount, and then um, she went fourteen oh two five on bars, which is still good, but she could have done better. And then vault and floor are um, were in the thirteens, so sh she needs to improve on Sunday. But I don't know if Rivera fits into that that mix and then of course Leanne Tiana Sumanasekara was behind Leanne she was um, let's see the sixth seventh eighth ninth but was a second best beam worker today behind SUNY with a 13950 and then put up a 13875 on floor um, the only problem is there is like you of course she has a great hit rate she has beautiful artistry on floor um, can obviously put up a great routine on beam, but the crux of the issue is uh, her bars, which put up a 12.725. She's still struggling on that event. Um, so I, I don't see this committee taking an athlete that puts up a 12 on any event. Um, but her floor is stunning, and her beam looked exceptional today. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. It's it's definitely a big question mark. The biggest question mark is if Shy is good, then there's the question. Then there's okay, you know, are we taking her just for bars, or is she good on all four? If she's good on all four, then I don't think there's really a question. You take Shylees and you're done. You have 
you strategically select your alternates, but you're good. If Shailise is only doing bars, I think it's still a discussion. I think maybe it's probably like, okay, let's just take Shailise for bars. She ha has the potential to win an individual medal and she could contribute to the team on bars. But if Shailise is out, then that is where the big question mark is. I think if Leanne Wong hits all four on Sunday and just crushes it, then you probably just take Leanne for her international experience and the fact that the difference between Jocelyn Robertson in fifth tonight and Leanne in eighth it was not that much. Um, but then you could also debate for Jocelyn. So, I mean, if if you're not, if, if these results kind of stayed the same, like if this was just copy and pasted Sunday and it was between Jocelyn and Tiana and Charlize was not in the mix, um, yeah, it would just be a debate between Jocelyn and Tiana, pr not Tiana, Jocelyn and Leanne. Um, and maybe, we, maybe Jocelyn for, again, this is her first Olympic trial. She's rising to the occasion. She missed out on worlds, but she has so much potential and she could make her own. She could, I mean, Jade Carey and, and Simone would be the ones making the vault final right now, but she could make a vault final and she can contribute on beam and floor. So, something to chew on. But that is it for today. That is what happened today. Tomorrow, the men's Olympic team will be named. We'll see who that is. Um, likely going to be Brody Malone, uh, Fred Richard, Yul Moldauer. We'll see if Koi Young rebounds from a disastrous day one and if he can then probably Koi Young and then the question mark of the fifth spot um, I personally do not see them taking Steven Nedorozic even though he is on a lot of the highest scoring se team scenarios um, he has hit the past few routines at championships and then day one of trials but two of those three he was he lost significant uh, points on difficulty alone so um, that to where he was scoring in the mid 14s and when he only does that event that that really draws into question can you take this per this athlete when they only contribute on one event and they're only doing mid 14s when your other athletes on your team could do you know maybe not all mid 14s across the board but they could very well do something similar so um Paul Judah, Donnell Wittenberg is probably out of it because he fell on two events on day one. So, um, Paul Judah, Shane Wiskus was exceptional day one. He really leaned into the home crowd. So you could take him. He has Olympic experience, solid all-arounder, doesn't have a standout event, but solid all-arounder. Paul Judah, of course, made a vault final and high bar final at last year's Worlds, and you could take him. He was great day one. Um... And then you consider Curran Phillips, who put up a 15-6, highest score of the competition. I think it was a 15-6, something right around there, uh, on parallel bars. And um, has a beautiful Yurchenko 2.5 on vault, but um, has been dealing with a bit of a thumb injury and fell on high bar and floor on day one. So if you're okay with taking him and knowing that, you know, it's kind of a toss-up if he would just be a backup routine on on probably high bar and floor. But if you're okay with that being a, a iffy backup routine, but you want to lean into a potential individual medal on parallel bars, then you take him because 15-6 and Lucas Dowser from Germany is potentially – well, he is injured and in question mark of if he'll comp be able to compete in Paris or petite, compete to his full potential – and that opens the door even more for an individual medal on parallel bars. So, a lot to think about, a lot to chew on. Tomorrow we'll have our first Olympic team. Sunday we will figure out the women's situation. We'll keep you updated on gymnastics-now.com. Also follow us on social. And uh, I'll circle back tomorrow with the men's decision and see what happens. Have a good night.